What's going on? Hey, Acuzio, we're going skiing. First day of the year, buddy. November 6th, 2006. It's not 2006. <laughs> You're I mean, 2005. <laughs> End of the season on the pass, gonna start it on the pass. That's how it should be. November 6, 2005, marked the first avalanche fatality of this last winter season in Colorado. The Colorado Avalanche Information Center referred to the incident as a case of powder lust. Coincidentally, that was also my first day skiing this past season up on Independence Pass. What's up? I think it's time to go skiing. It's pretty easy to get excited when you come out early season, come out and see a couple feet of fresh powder, and you just want to get after it. What do you say, Brian? That was all right, you know. I mean, if you have to go skiing, you might as well be powder. And then that country. Every time you go home and have a good day of skiing, you know, it gives you the, uh, the illusion that you did everything right. Every time you come home safe, it's an invitation to go out and try it again. How do you feel about hanging out with Drink Man Productions, John? You know, I'm having a good time so far. Yeah, skiing! Day two! Day two. Last day of the pass! Keep it real. Our second day up on the pass, we hiked up along the ridge. Um, Picked out a good line from the parking lot. Pretty tempting line. If your goal is to go out and just ski untouched powder, you know, by definition, you're gonna you're gonna end up in a unique situation every time. Your environment, the mountains, everything you see and encounter while you're out there give you all the warning signs, but what you decide to do with them is all up to you. Enzini dropped in first. Skied it really well, everything stayed, he made it down to the bottom. Cusio dropped in second, skied a nice line and, and set up his camera, maybe not the best spot. And after that, uh, Willie came down, we got a good shot of him. Um, his dog Charlie dropped in following that and the, everything broke right on her. Um, she got taken for a nice little ride. Cusio packed up the camera and bolted out. Yeah, there are my tracks. Skiing out of that fucking avalanche path with the camera and my gloves in my hands. She stayed right on top, ended up coming out just fine at the bottom. And uh, I was sitting up top by myself. Where were you standing? I was standing right at the top, getting ready to drop in. <laughs> Counting down. Yeah. What were you on? Two? Three. Three? Yeah. <laughs> got away with one there, I think, Kuz. Yeah. I think I got lucky. for that mutt. Let's stop bringing it. We gave into our lust for powder. I mean, even when we had the warning signs, you know, the omens were all right there. Everything was there saying it was a bad idea and we ended up going and fortunately came out okay. Everything was kind of right in front of our face and we were going, but we just couldn't resist the temptation of that, of that line and dodged the bullet that morning. So your knowledge of snow conditions and your preparation on that day come up to uh, your point at the top of a line to, to make a decision whether or not you're gonna ski or you're gonna turn around. When it came time for Charlie to uh, drop in with Willie, she stayed and Willie skied down. Charlie kind of waited up top. She was pretty nervous about going in there. I think she knew what was going on. You know, all of us were just looking at some fresh pow, excited to ski a good line, and I think the dog knew what was up the whole time. Hi, you reached Mike Cuzio and Cuzio Movie Media. Please leave a message after the tone. Bye.